very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in christ and outside the body of christ and once again this is your little christian brother eric braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country trinidad and tobago the land of my innovativity the land of my birth trinidad and tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue caribbean sea speaking to you all in the month of april 2020 god riches blessing and grace and salvation and love to mankind everywhere reaching out with my christian right hand of fellowship to my atheist brothers in the atheist community in Dallas, Texas, and throughout the international community, teaching them about God and the Bible and the reality of creation and the existence of the angels and the purpose of life. Welcome, my dear brothers and sisters, all over the world in the international community. Well, I was very troubled as usual listening to my brother Matt Donald Dalty and my dear ex brother Don, Don Barker. And Matt Donald Dante is saying that he is looking much younger. God haven't crushed him as a, as a, as a bug. And he said that God care less about human beings. Matt Donald Dante, God care everything about human beings. Because God loves us with an everlasting and eternal love. That's why he, it is the will of God that none should perish, but that all should come to repentance. If God, did not, if God did not love us, he would not create us. If God did not love us, he would not send Jesus Christ to die for us on the cross of Calvary to save us from our sins. He loves us. That's why he sent Jesus Christ to die for us. So God care for mankind. So Matt Dunlop, that you have it wrong. Matt Dunlop, that he has said he was speaking to the guy on the radio. He was a... He was a he's a Christian. He's a Christian. He's a Christian. And he say he do not want to throw away his abandon his Christianity as yet. But he say he is Christian in his sexuality because he said he's a homosexual. And and on the program Don Barker also revealed that he's a homosexual being around with boys. So he is gay. I want you all to know that that lifestyle is abomination. And a man done it, that you call it, call the text where God said that if two men lie with a man, they should be put to death is abomination. If two women put lie with a woman, two women lie with woman, lesbian, and they should be put to death. It is abomination. It still is abomination on today. And it will always be abomination in the eyes of God. And you said that the marriage at God, the sex that God approve of, that take place in marriage yes god is a proof of that sex that take place in marriage that's why he married adam and eve and not adam and steve i eric braxton when i was not a when i even when i was a christian in my in my christian youth coming up i did a, i have i had sex out of marriage i knew it was wrong i did it i know i have asked god for forgiveness here forgive me and since i have marriage since i have married I haven't had have sex outside my marriage, right, Matt? So, so Matt Donald Dundee, Dundee, when God, two persons married, man and woman, as God married Adam and Eve, God is approved of that sex. But the marriage, two women married in, two men married in, homosexualism, lesbianism, a man having sex with animal, or a woman having sex with a beast, these sexes abomination. Because this is outside of marriage. God is displeased with that sex. Let me remind you, Dun 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 it is God who created man. And since God created man, we are his children. And since God is the highest authority, he is the one supposed to instruct us what is right and what is wrong. And that is exactly what he did. He instruct us how to engage sexual activity a man and a woman, not to have sex outside of marriage, not to have sex with two men, two women should have not have sex with one another, two men should not have sex, a man should have, have no sex with no animal, a woman should have no sex with no animal. These kind of sex, these sex is abomination in the eyes of God and it displeases God because God is the creator. Now if you oppose that man, the, 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 you cannot change it because it will mean that way. And you as a mortal man, you say God haven't strike you down and he haven't crushed you as a bee. As a, as a bug, but you was alive. Uh, but the day when you stand before judgment, if you do not repent of your sins and return back to your Christianity and accept the Bible and accept God, and the day when you die in that atheist state and you stand before God in the day of judgment, before this holy and this powerful God, God the Father and Himself, Jesus Christ, well, He's the judge of the quick and the dead. 
It was a father appointed Christ a judge, a quick and the dead. When you stand before Jesus Christ, my dear friend, Madonna Dati, and you done Baka, uh, you will be standing before the master himself. And he will talk to you about all these things that he laid on in his laws that you was making fun of and questioning him. Yes. He will tell you that what I written there is right. And you ask the question, well, if God seeing men having sex with men and women having sex with women and a man a woman engaging in lesbianism and a woman engaging in homosexualism and the question in the sexuality am i born a homosexual or am i born a lesbianism if i live this lifestyle lesbianism or homosexual will god is this please in the eyes of god and you are saying then the man is in ignorant why god does not appear to him or come down on earth and rectify the situation. Jesus Christ is coming back again. And when he come back again, read the 14th chapter of um, Zechariah, where all the nations have to go up to Jerusalem to keep the Feast of Tabernacles in the seventh month. And if Egypt and the nations do not come up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles in the seventh month, he will plague the nations. So when all mankind come up there for he to judge and speak to mankind directly, Ah, he will rectify all the homosexual activity and the lesbianism, lesbianism activity taking place on the earth. He will rectify it and put it to iron, my dear friend. But we know before Christ come, unfortunately, it will go on. Because Obama passed the, 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 the law now that men can marry women, man can marry man, woman can marry a woman, and woman can marry a woman in all the states before it was not so. And, and some countries, some countries is outlawing it, saying it is abomination. Whereas other countries is passing the law that men can marry men, men can marry men, women can marry women, same, same sex marriage law. But God will put it to an end, my dear friend. So I've given you the answer. Madame Dundalti, will you reject it? But you will not change that because Jesus Christ is coming to put a stop to all that. He's not putting a stop it now. No. But individually, a person could recognize that that homosexual lifestyle, that lesbianism lifestyle, is a practice he have adopted and he have engaged himself in. He was not born a lesbianism. She was not born a lesbianism. He wasn't born a, le a homosexualism. But this practice there, it was forced upon them. Or they choose that lifestyle. It is still wrong. It is still wrong. And they can make the and make their conscious decision. Send them back outside. To, to stop gauging in that activity by like going through counseling and rehabilitation and all these things and keeping away from sexual partners no more practicing homos no more having sex with no more having sex with man as himself she no more having sex with woman like herself right and they can live a straight life yes they could make that effort right now not through their own strength by that but uh, but um but turning to go onto god to give them the strength to live that straight life yes my dear friend and a lot of people have turned away from that lifestyle and have converted to christianity and now they are living a straight life yes my dear friend i want you to know that mad dandan dandy so and mad dandan dandy i have listened to the cursing that you have cursed on the show once again i will not use it the, the the obscene language that you have used because i'm a christian and I'm, i will not do that but you know exactly what you have used on the show let me remind you once again, Madan that the little children are on, on the internet 24 hours and they are watching the internet. And if they come across some of your videos and hear this old man is cursing on the show with this sidekick, Dan Barker, mm -hmm. you are not accepting a good example to the children, my dear friend. Yes, Madan I want to keep on pointing that and reminding you about that fact. From once again, from your little Christian brother Eric Braxton, way down in Trinidad and Tobago. Keep my Matt Dun Dun Dunty. I'm not making this video stuff to pick any fight with you. Yes, you are my brother, eight years brother. I am your little Christian brother. Whether, or li whether I'm your big brother or little brother, we are still brothers. So I'm not looking at the age matter. Right? Right? But I want you to understand the truth. And if I come up to Texas, and I meet you, my friend. I will not show you. I will embrace you for the love of Jesus Christ, my dear friend. I want you to know that. 
I want you to know that it has nothing to do whether I am black or I'm a color person or you are white. No, we are all Jews and Gentiles. We are all under sin. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One human family, my dear friend. God has made all nations of one blood upon the earth. The cut you, red blood will come out. The cut me, red blood will come out, my dear friend. We all have the same blood. One human family coming from Adam and the Eve. She have all the genes in her body. All nations. God have created upon this earth. He has sent the boundaries of the nations of the earth, my dear friend. As according to the scriptures. Because God is the creator. I am teaching you all these things, Madame Nadalti, with spite of your bright scholarship of academia. I am not of that bright scholarship like you of academia. I, I not even, 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 I not even a college boy, my dear friend. I'm not even a college boy, but of course I'm a Bible student and I'm a Christian. And therefore, I am speaking in you in this manner because my love for you all, my atheist brothers and sisters, not only in my own country, Trinidad and Tobago, but throughout the Caribbean and throughout the United States of America, of course, starting from the heart of the atheist community in Dallas, Texas, and throughout the rest of the commun atheist community throughout the United States of, and in Canada, North America, and through the international community. I say welcome once again in conclusion. Before I come to the end of this video, let me remind you, I, Eric Braxton, your little Christian brother, are reaching out to you all with my right hand of Christian fellowship to all my atheist brothers and sisters in the world, reminding them that atheism is negative and I want them to do the I want them to renounce atheism in the shortest possible time to bring back a form of semblance of normalcy in their life so that they will accept Jesus Christ and get on, on the road of positivity and abandon the road of negativity atheism and hold on to Jesus Christ the road of the road of positivity the narrow road because Jesus Christ talked about two road, the broad road of destruction where the majority of people is in, and the narrow road that leads to eternal life. That narrow road is Jesus Christ himself. My dear friend, brothers and sisters. So this is my message to you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Matt Donald Dante, homosexual is wrong. Homosexualism is wrong. Lesbianism is wrong. This sex is abomination in the eyes of God. This sex is abomination in the eyes of God. The sex that God approved in marriage. Two men and a, two, um, a man and a woman having sex with one another, having a family. That sex is a proof of God. And that is the sex and that what God sanctioned, my dear friend. Yes, 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 yes. Let me remind you, God is the creator. And this is his, this is his, um, this is the purpose why he creates sex for, for procreation. But in the context that man and a woman are married and are having a family, so procreation will take place. That is the purpose of God and that's the purpose God creates sex for. My dear friend, but people have all sorts of false ideas about the purpose of sex. Some people teach that masturbating is wrong, I mean is right, when masturbating is wrong. I, when I grew up, I used to masturbate plenty, but I get to know it is wrong and I have stopped it. Not through my own strength, but by the power of God. I do not gauge in that activity at all, but I know a lot of sex, sexologists. I mean, and many sex books and literatures are out there teaching people that masturbating is right. And even the doctors telling them masturbating is right, which is totally wrong. And many people saying they could have sex with a man, a man could have sex with man, woman could have sex with woman, a woman could have sex with any beast, a man could have sex with animals. All these things is wrong in the eyes of God. So I want you to know that, my dear friend, my dear friend, Martha Nadalti, I want you to know that, and Dan Barker, your sidekick, my dear brother, and mankind in general, I want you all to know what the Bible say is truth, and what God say concerning that matter is truth. And we human beings will not change that. It will remain that way.
I could assure you all that the mighty name of Jesus Christ in conclusion. Bye bye. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye, my friend.